Mensch, fälle noch raus. Jesus. Ist das hier raus? I didn't think anybody lived there. Are you happy? Are you? You're a hermit. Kermit the hermit? What are you cooking? Give some. Why? Why should I give you some food? Because you're starving. Go on, give some grub, Kermit. If you want some food from me, don't you think you better cut out the insults? He wasn't insulting you. I only called you Kermit. We don't know what your name is, do we? Kidder. Kidder? That's a soft name, isn't it? What's your name, then? Icky. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? What are you laughing at me for? Oh, it's curry. Is it curry? Put loads on mine. I love curry. I've lived in China, do you it all the time? Rice? Yeah, go on. Got any chips? No. Why? Go on, then I'll have the extra rice. Oh, will you shut up, you? Why? Watch that, it's very hot. Used to this. I'd say it was up. Yes. Nah. I was over at Benelec yesterday. I didn't notice anyone camping there. No, we we only got there last night. Well. Ah! Delayed action curry. Water, water. You puff. The tap. I put the tap. The river out the back. Die, <laughs> ah, you big buff. <laughs> You're not from around there, are you? From Louis, you know. If you give the word, all the gang would come over to you. Forget about Louis then. He wouldn't be able to touch us. You can take him, you know. I know. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go back home. The coppers would have forgot about us by now. Until next time. But we won't be here next time if we don't do nothing wrong. But we will do something wrong if we go back. Why will we? Oh, we will. All right. So we will. But we can still keep out the way of the coppers. We can keep one jumper out of them. Don't you like it round here? It's all right. We don't live here, do we? What's wrong? Can we live here? Hey. What? It's not a bloody youth hostel, you know. You're not down here with any school, are you? You're on the oof. Come on. What have you been up to? Can we live here? 
one do you want to live here for? I like it. And because you like it, you think I'm just going to open the doors to you? The cop is after you. No. What have you done? Jump to Boston, something like that? No. could help you. Doing what? Fixing up the house and that. How do you know I want it fixed up? It's a dump. Oh, thanks. It could be great though. Could it really? Look, me and Icky could help you. What's your name? Billy Risley. Well, look, Billy Risley. First of all, I don't need any help round here and Second, if I did need any help. <laughs> I know what you and your mate are like. I used to teach kids like you. You a teacher? Was. And I know the likes of you and your mate. You'll spend two days round here, you'll be bored silly, half my stuff will be broken to bits, and the other half will disappear when you decide to do a quick moonlight. Now, don't you think you'd better go home? Your mother will be worried about you. I haven't got a mother. Well, whoever looks after you. Nobody looks after me. Look, we could help you. Go things, vegetables. And Look, son, I don't want you here, right? I don't want anything to do with it. Now, go on, you've had your free scoff. Get your mate and sod off. Go on. Sod off! Hey! Come here. Are you sure you're not in any trouble? Yeah, we've not done nothing. I don't know. Well, there are a few jobs need doing. If you and your mate want to earn your keep for tonight, and just for tonight, you can do. Tomorrow you're on your way, right? Yeah, all right. There's some wood up the back. I want it sorting up. I'll go get a key. Hey, what are you doing? What? Where are all the plates? Ah, they were no good anyway. They all have cracks in them. Have you loved them? Come on, let's piss off before he finds out. Piss off? We're staying here. Come on. Where's those plates? He's lost them. What? You what? They all had cracks in them. What are you on about? I just skimmed one off the water, didn't I? Just one. Where's the others then? I don't know. One minute they were here, the next thing. Jesus. They were my plates. They were all cracked. Come here. Just. Come here! Hey, leave him, you! Leave him! I said leave him! Come here! I said leave him.
What did you think I was going to do? I know what you were going to do. What? You were going to hurt him. No. No. You won't now. I was going to give him a duck in the river. After all, they were my place. Cracked or otherwise. Have you stuck someone with that? Eh? Don't you think you'd better get rid of it, son? Before somebody really does get hurt. What did you do that for? You said we could stay there. Well, you pulled the blade on him. He wasn't going to whip me, you know. There might be. If we make it all right. How? We're going to have to get some more plates, aren't we? Where from? I don't know. Come on. shops around here. No, there's no shops around here, pal. If you want shops, you'll have to go back to Liverpool. What? How do you know we're from Liverpool? Oh, clever guess. You see, I once went to Liverpool when come I was on, a boy. Come on, George. What about this washing line? Yeah, I'm just finishing off here, love. It won't be a minute. Well, come on. I'm waiting to use it. Oh, for Christ's sake, woman. Hey, don't touch that with your greasy hands. Oh, George, your bloody trousers. Those as I know. Graffio, graffio, mamma. Yes, <laughs> I'll have a bit of police, yeah? Are you happy to be drawn on my bath, yeah? Am I on my own bent flesh, I told you? Why? Edric Hanover, bastard, did you? Hey, I'm Brachtman Gauss. Understand well, still, hippie? A little, yeah. Here's a pub across the square. That's where all the tourists drink. Yeah? I'm not a tourist, though. Don't Come again. A little bit slower. I'll do better than that. I'll give you a translation. Why don't you piss off to where you come from? Right, come on. Out. I warned you. Out. Piss off. We bloody belong here. He's a bastard who should be thrown out. I said out. You've been warned. This is our patch. Be like piss anyway. Serve it to the English. They deserve it. I told you before! Sorry. It's all right. Well, tell them we're sorry, right? Yeah. And don't you go saying anything stupid. Me? We 
You tell him we're really sorry, he'll be all right. It'd still be better if we had some plates. Well, they don't grow on trees, do they? Jesus! Go on. Hey! Come on! Come on! George, quick, come on, they got our best plates. Oh, my God, look. Hey, son. Hey, son. Hey. Who's a pretty boy, then, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Hey, lad. What are you doing? Come on, let's go. What are you up to? Just a bit of painting. What's it to you? Did you do that? What if we did? Just knock it off, will you? Come on. Get lost. I won't tell you again. Piss off. What's it to you anyway? Hey! You're not gonna do that. We live here. I said, we live here. Jesus. Get off, you dickhead! Oh, Cliff, you got a bloody knife! Oh. Now piss off! Go on, you woolly back puff, the sod off! Life, is it? We'll be back for you. You come back here, lad, and you'll get what's coming to you. This is our patch now, right? We live here. Now go on, get off our land before I slice you up. Go on! You all right? Yeah. It's gonna kill him. You all right? Yeah. It's just a scratch. Bastard scraped me hand across the wall, didn't he? Who the hell's that? Looks soft, doesn't he? Jeez.
go? No. What? There's nearly 200 notes here. Look, put it back. Come on, we could go anywhere with this. We go to Rill. There's a fair at Rill. Look, I've told you. Put it back and forget about it. We're not going to Bleeding Rill. We're staying here. I don't have to. All right, then you go. I am. I'm going to. Go on, then. Get lost. Aren't you coming with me? You? You know I can't go without you. Why? Because you're my mate, aren't you? <laughs> Haven't you even got the grace to piss off? What? Hey, now look, this wasn't us. It wasn't us? Oh. It just happened, did it? No. We came back and found three fellas here. But there was already paint all over it. These three woolly backs were... What did they look like? Three of them? Yeah. They were older than us. We stopped them from wrecking the house. You didn't stick anyone with that knife, did you? No, I didn't. I was the only one who got damaged. Look. Jesus. It's nothing. They were going to wreck the place, you know. They were vandals, weren't they? We got your plates for you. Hey. I'll show you. Who's that? It's, uh... A friend of mine. An ex-friend of mine. Looks a bit demented, doesn't he? See? You didn't believe us, did you? Where did they come from? Where do you think? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Well, we bought them, all right. We got a lift into some village and we bought them there. In the market? I'm sorry. It's all right. Sorry. Let's have a look at that hand. That's all right. I said, let's have a look. might be broken. I got hurt as well, you know. What's wrong? I don't know. I think it might be strained or broken. Get your shoe off. I'll have a look when I've done this. OK. Do you know those three fellas who were wrecking your house? I know who they are. Don't they like you? No. Why? I don't know. There you go. So, let's have a look. I mean, you ate thick Yorkshiremen, why shouldn't they? We don't eat them. Not like the Cockneys and Scotties. We just know that Yorkshire puddings are thick and dozy. <laughs> really? There's a really sharp tenon saw in that shed back there. Go and fetch it for me, will you? Oh, yeah, all right. Now, look, Billy, you're going to have to hold him down, you know. What? Obviously, without an anaesthetic. What are you doing? Oh, I'll have to come off. Sod off! <laughs> what that foot needs a bit of fresh air. Get your shoes and socks off. You've been doing a lot of walking, haven't you? Loads. Go on, get your feet in the water. And you, come on. <laughs> What's up? All these fish will be dead when they smell his feet. <laughs> what about?
Not yours. <laughs> ah, hey, what are you doing? Just having a laugh. How do you fancy doing a bit of work? For a laugh. What are you doing? Nothing. Exactly. I thought you were going to carry on with this. Well, I couldn't do it without you here, could I? Why not? Don't be soft. It's a two-handed saw, isn't it? Here. Come on. Haven't you been pulling? No, it's easy if I push. Oh. It's easier if... Of course it's easier if you push, cos I've been bloody pulling. All right, all right. Don't shout at me. I'm not a friggin' lumberjack. Come on. Now, pull. And pull. And pull. And pull. And pull. That's it. Good. What's up? It's not bad, this. What do you mean, not bad? It's bleeding brilliant. This tea is bleeding brilliant. Oh! Are you going to stay here, or what? I've already said, haven't I? You can stay tonight, and then you I you're... mean all the time. Why do you need to stay here? Eh? Come on. We're orphans. There was a big fire down our street. Both our mums and dads were killed. We got nowhere to go. Come on, what you been up to? We robbed some money. It wasn't much. And he's broke his probation. Where did you rob the money from? From his old girl. You told me he had no mother. Your old mother's not going to press charges, is she? Yeah, she hates him. Look, nobody would know. If we got caught, we'd tell them that you didn't know anything. We'd say we were only working here. Go on. Let us stay. Don't be tight. <laughs> Look, we could help you. We'd behave ourselves, wouldn't we? Yeah, we'd be dead good, wouldn't we? You two? Be good, you don't know the bloody meaning of the word, do you? Yeah. All right, George. How's it going? Not so bad. Just passing by. Yeah? Aye. Didn't have to bump into a couple of Liverpool boys who've been sniffing around here. When did you see them? See them? I tell you, they'll steal anything. I tell you not one word of a lie. These two, I saw them. They came into the garden and they stole the dishes that Irene had washed. What are they going to do with a pile of bloody dishes? Eh? It's 
It's beyond me. I tell you, if they are steel dishes, what wouldn't they bloody steal? Hold on there a minute, will you, George? He's my bloody neighbour. The frig are we going to eat off now? Shut up. Billy! Come here! Billy! You just done it for some lark, George, didn't you? Didn't you? I didn't realise we were yours. What do you say to George? Well, what? What do you say to George? Hello, George. Stop. This is uh, Billy, he's my nephew. He's my ticky. He's staying with me for a while. Your nephew, eh? Well, let me know if you have any problems with them. If you do, I'll get my gun and shoot the bloody pants off both of them, won't I? You won't, you know. Won't I now? Sure. We'll see about that. Well, I'd better be off. Better nail these down, I think. <laughs> Come on, then. If you're staying here for a while, there's rules, and you're going to stick to them. We'll start with washing. Get yourselves down to the river, get those clothes off, and wash yourselves completely. Then wash the clothes. Why, eh? Come on. I don't know how long you two have been in that gear, but the stink from the pair of you is beginning to get right up my nostrils. Cheeky guess, I don't smell. Go on. <laughs> Billy. The knife. Come on. You don't need it, son. Give some more. Will you take it easy? You'll be legless. Go away. It's like water. Why do you have to seize everything? As always the last you'll ever get of it. Might be. Might not. There's plenty more. It's all right. There's plenty. You don't have to snaffle it all up for yourself. <laughs> What's up with you? That. Come on, let us all in on the joke. There is none. Come on. Look, I've told you. Oh, what are you laughing at then? He's just soft. What's the joke? <laughs> There's no joke. It's just. It's just good, isn't it? Telly. What do you do every night without a telly? Work. Read, sing a song. Sing us a song. 
And have you two pissing yourselves laughing at me? No, we won't. Go on, sing a song. The water is wide, I cannot get o'er. And neither have I wings to fly. You sound like an old man. It's an old song. That's not singing. Shut up. Go on. Fetch me a boat that can carry two. And we both shall row, my love and I. There is a ship and it sails the sea. She's laden deep as deep can be. But not so deep as the love I'm in. I know not if I sink or swim. Now love is handsome and love is true. The finest jewel when first it is new. But love grows cold as it groweth old. And it fades away like the morning dew. I lean my back up against an oak, thinking it was a trusty tree. But first it bent and then it broke. And so did my false love to me. Crap! That's not singing. All right, you sing as one then. I will. I'm a great singer, me. Could be famous, you know. Go on, then. Go on. Let's hear you. All right. You're listening. You ready? You're listening? Yeah. Right. Dana, dana, na, na, na. Dum, dum, dana, dana, na, na. Good morning, miss. Can I help you, son? Sixteen today, and I'm out for fun. I'm a big boy now, also they say so. If you say, I'll be on my way.
How's the ribs? All right. Can you breathe all right? Yeah. Could you eat something? I'm starving. Right, we'll get you some breakfast. Oh, great. What are we having? That's up to you, Icky lad. You're cooking it. Me? I can't cook. I've never cooked. Well, he can in his state, and I did it yesterday. So now's about the right time to learn, eh? What is that? For breakfast. What's that there? What? Oh, it's a chicken, isn't it? Right. Roast chicken for breakfast. <laughs> Not chicken. What? What do you get from chickens? Food poisoning. <laughs> eggs, eggs, eggs. All right, all right, don't shout. Can't cook, you know. Well, he's never going to learn unless he tries, is he? No. I'm warning you. Now listen, Bert. Either you tell us where the eggs are, or we will be having roast chicken. Oh, listen. I want you to do something for me. I want each of you to write a letter home. Tell your parents you're okay. Look, there's no need. All right, but will you do it anyway? Just to keep me happy. Well, we can't, because they'll chase the postmark, won't they? Well, George goes into Shrewsbury every now and then. He could post them from there. Will you? If you want. That looks horrible. to let it on. Who's this? Uh, just someone I used to know. Oh. You look soft. <laughs> yeah, I suppose he does. Have you finished your letter? What? Oh, no. I'm just going to do it. You're writing a novel, Icky. You've been doing it for half an hour. Well. What's up? Nothing. <laughs> what have you written? Private. Let's have a look. I couldn't think what to put. Come here. Come on. Is 
It's all right. Read me a bit of that. What? Oh. Which bit? It doesn't matter. Any bit. Leave him. Give me that. Just leave me. I'll do a zine and writing for him. Wouldn't he rather do his own? He can't. He can't read. He tried to teach him at school, but they couldn't do it. And it doesn't matter, because I do it for him. Do you? Yeah. What would you rather do, Icky? Have Billy do your reading and writing for you, or do your own? Look, I've told Just you. Just let him answer for himself, will you? I don't want to do it. I hate reading. I'll teach you. You can't. No one can. They said at school, didn't they? Yeah. Forget school. While you're here, why don't you have a go? No. Just try. Just leave him alone. Look, no one's gonna laugh at you. There's only me and Billy here. If you're staying here, you're at least gonna try and learn. I mean it. I don't wanna stay here anyway. It's bleeding last. I'm going home. Are you coming? Come on, let's go. Why couldn't you just leave him alone? You? You? You've just listened to me, Mr Billy Price-Spark. If you think you're going to be living like this in peace and bleeding comfort for the rest of your days, you're daft. Daft, lad! One day the coppers are going to pick you off. And when they find you, they'll have you whisked away before you can fucking whistle, Billy Risley. You and him need every chance you can get, and if you can't read, it's one less chance he's got. Now, if you're really his mate, just get yourself up there and fetch him back. <laughs>